Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes Reacts. I'm Office Bloke Dave. What I wanted to do was to uh, show all you guys what we do over on our two other channels. We've got Office Blokes Try, where we like to try stuff from around the world, food, sports, all that sort of stuff. We've also got Office Blokes Podcast. And over on Office Blokes Podcast, we do Office Blokes Confidential. It's essentially a segment where people write in with the problems in their personal life, um, anything they might need advice from three English blokes that like to waffle on. Um, and we just try and have a bit of fun with it. We try and give a bit of legit advice sometimes. Sometimes we just try and take the piss. We just try and have a laugh. The whole thing is about having a bit of fun and putting, a f putting smiles on a few faces. So what's going to follow is uh, one of my favourite clips from Office Boats Confidential so far. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please head over to Office Boats Podcast YouTube channel, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we appreciate the support. So cheers, guys. Anyway, I have a personal dilemma with my girlfriend, which I want some advice on. I am the guy for advice on this, definitely. Who, who, uh, what's his name? I'm not going to say. Fucking hell. Getting away with everything <laughs> these, eh? We'll call him Bob. Because that's his name. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robert. Office bloke, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> well, uh, he wants some advice. He's been with her for at least a year now, and the relationship is great. But the problem is, we barely have sex. I've asked her before and she rarely says yes. I'm a guy in my early 20s. I have a decent sex drive. I'm scared to bring up the conversation with her as I don't know how she'll react. What do you guys reckon shall I bring up? Uh, what should I do to bring up her naughty side and to have some fun? Uh, based off the guy's name, I was going to say get a drunk, but <laughs> based off the guy's name, probably not. Um, <clears throat> Usman Khan. No, no. <laughs> That, that's a tough one because for me that's such a I think that's an important part of a relationship yeah you've got to start as you mean to go on either bin her off or see if she's got any nice sisters yeah <laughs> <laughs> Job before done. you bin her off <laughs> it's, a, it, it's a big deal though because if that's a year in like you, you, you're you supposed to be going mad you know it's your honeymoon period and all that sort of stuff when you're decades in it might be a bit of a different story yeah. I don't know you guys will have to take over on that one um, I think that's pretty sketchy though Maybe she's just very repressed, or maybe she's playing away. How old is he? Early twenties. That, was, that 20s. was my that was my next point. Maybe she's early twenties. Maybe she's uh, eating from another mm. table. Uh, mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Again, again yeah, based, yeah. based off the guy's name, it and might she's be coming on full. <laughs> Can't eat uh, anymore. Based off the guy's name, it might be culturally not very acceptable for her to be who she really is um, if she's eating from another table. Right, if, that, okay. if, you, if, if you know what I mean yes to Muslims is what you're saying uh, definitely an, an Indian name right I, it, I, I, I don't think that is sustainable though if you've got a high sex drive and she doesn't and you're only a year in yeah it's not going to last what are you going to be like when yeah you're if you're young in your 20s after a year just incompatible move on I, I mean what's going to happen is they'll be together for 10, 20 years and he'll resent the fact that he's missed out on so much because she's so repressed and then he'll get his head turned 20 years in by a younger model who's a freak and probably a nutcase because <laughs> they do usually go hand in hand um, and then he'll end up doing something dirty yeah. and he'll split up so yeah I just I think, think I just, go on sorry, right. I'll just say yeah move on I think I just hope we haven't got kids yet or anything like that I mean only a year early 20s been 20 together for a year kids. don't commit yourself see how it goes test the waters maybe spice up the uh, spice up the relationship with maybe you know buy some things from Love Honey or mm -hmm. I don't know something along the similar lines I don't know what the equivalent is wherever they are around the world but Love Honey's a global yeah. brand that you can buy from the ship globally yeah, yeah, not yeah. that they sponsor anything on the show they yet. should do though yet. <laughs> a lot of sex toys do sponsor maybe the humpus and so yeah, like yeah. I say if, if you're not going to do it then I'm going to get the humpus <laughs> I don't I know what the humpus is. Go and look at our reactions. The, one thing I will say is the most unattractive thing he can possibly do is to mope about about it mm. and be like, oh, you're not fucking me. You know, because instantly she just won't respect him. Yeah, yeah. Maybe try and spice it up is the way. Maybe try and... She might just be repressed. If she's early 20s as well, she might be new to all this. It might maybe, be... Maybe it's shit. Maybe and she's like, I don't, don't enjoy it. Maybe it's not very big. <laughs> or, or maybe you're doing it wrong. wrong. <laughs> maybe you're doing it totally wrong. <laughs> Stop jamming it in her armpit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, put it in the right place first, and see what happens. <laughs> I, I, I think there's the two ways of looking at it. Then it's either done. It's either she's not into you. Maybe she's with you for the wrong reasons or whatever. 
or she might just be quite repressed and he needs to spice it up a little bit get her out of her shell she might be an mm. absolute freak when she uh, when she opens up mm. no pun intended <laughs> Before you do it, before you know it, you'll be having rusty trombones and Cleveland steamers. Yeah, yeah, the baguette. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'll show you. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd, 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 I'd carry on a little bit longer. I'd try and spice it up. It's, it's, if you can culturally, if you drink in your culture, then definitely get some booze involved. That helps to uh, grease the gears. Yeah, if you can, if you can drink bit. alcohol, get some drugs. <laughs> we don't condone the use of, unless it's Viagra. That's what I, well, it could well, been, I was thinking Rohit Null. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> office place confidential has been cancelled already. <laughs> Put on a rag and say, what does that smell like? <laughs> Rohit Null to you. That's chloroform. <laughs> chloroform, sorry, yeah. Yep, yeah that's like chloroform <laughs> to you. Yeah. 28 minutes, edit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, that it is what it is. You yep. know, fingers crossed she comes out of a shell and you're meant to be and if you not, can just move on I think. spice it up give it an extra push give it another month yeah if it doesn't work bin her off if you do if it does work and you spice up your love life and it all goes great and you end up with three boys then Dave you doesn't the like <laughs> yeah <laughs> got the name sorted <laughs> yeah yeah yep. yeah so uh, hopefully we help with that I don't know yep I think that's a good idea. we shall see yeah. watch this space <laughs> right we'll do one more for today because we've got loads of reactions to do in a bit uh, do, 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 do. I want names now. It's, well, some people have specifically said don't. All of them, uh, by the sound of it. <laughs> no. Just let me check. Do, 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 do. Right, this this guy's not said don't use his name. So we'll, we'll go with a name for this one. Right then. Hi, guys. My name is Tony, and I have a question for your confidential channel. Tony. Right, Tony. Tony, uh, how are you Tony. doing, Tony? After watching your reaction to the TikTok show me your butthole video, <laughs> uh, I will ask as a man who likes to eat females butthole, <laughs> no shame, lol. I like always put lol. Okay, yeah. there's, no, there's no better way to back up the fact that you're not ashamed by putting lol at the end. <laughs> Just own it. Own it. Like Drop the lol. Um, now, is it out of line to ask a woman to want her ass if it's a bit swampy mm. I think it's supposed to be one what he's actually said is now is it out of line to ask a woman to wash her ass wash it, oh to wash her ass if it's yeah that makes a lot more sense uh, <laughs> is it okay Jeez, to what ask a question I could wand it I could whip it or I could wash it yeah 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 fair enough uh, love the channel fan since day one cheers we do appreciate it uh, would it be too much to ask for you guys to reply to make sure you get this no this is your reply. <laughs> Stay safe, fellas. Cheers. Well, Tony. Uh, I'll be home now I'm watching this with his wife, or his girlfriend. If it's a bit gamey down there, then why do you want to go down there in the first place? <laughs> you get swamp ass. You, need these, you want to sort of like address it if that's what you're into, don't you? You don't want to be down there and all of a sudden, you know, you've got like fucking proper fucking stench and swamp ass coming out. And, do you know what I mean? Mm hmm. No, he's coming out like <laughs> coming out look like you've been fucking bobbing like a chocolate fondant. Oh, gosh. You know I, I mean, mean, right? There's, there's, you know, the comedian, uh, the comedian Mark Normand that we've yeah. done a bit mm. like his morning oh, Cleveland yeah. show. Um, <laughs> Wait, why do you have to mention Cleveland? When we're talking know. about. He he's got a story <laughs> about how he got really ill from eating ass. Uh, he said he's really into it. He, he got really ill for a couple of weeks. Went to the doctor and. I can't remember what the name of the condition was, but they basically said you've digested faecal matter. So actually, it's a health and safety issue more than anything. If it's, <laughs> if, Fuck. If it's grim <laughs> down there. Yeah. Safety. So I've seen videos of people shitting in someone's mouth. Yeah, and they probably died a week later. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the, the video afterwards to see what really Tony's happened? Tony's getting excited now. He wants some videos, don't I you, know, mate? Yeah. <laughs> I think, I mean, did he say if he's in a relationship or not? Did he say his girlfriend? Uh, no, he just said females butthole. Is it okay? Is it out of line to ask a woman to wash her ass if it's a bit swampy? So it sounds bad. It sounds like Tony. You're obviously paying for this service. And, uh, <laughs> if you're going to say to him, if you're paying for it, you can ask for to, to be washed. Or well, baby wipes. Yeah, yeah. That's what, you your own, that's what you want to do. Yeah, take your own. <laughs> Spray and wipe. <laughs> I think it's not out of order. But since he's not said his girlfriend, he's not trying to broach the topic with his girlfriend. It's just one night stands anyone I'm thinking and it's just like he's got someone home from the bar and can you imagine anyone saying to you do you mind just washing your ass for mm. me <laughs> that's the it's done listen I'm going to go in the back door 
Head first. <laughs> any chance there's any is that swampage down there or they're not in the balloon knot? And you get down there and you know what I mean? Give it a get, that's what you do, mate. Before you go in, just wipe it. <laughs> wipe it, bring your own wet wipe. down the back of the pants while he's kissing it. Just, whoops. <laughs> Right, okay. Pulls out, pulls out a pack of wet wipes from the inside of his car. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Carry on. <laughs> wow. Bit, 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 we, can, we can actually give that a name, that manoeuvre. We could call it the office blokes. The office blokes. Swipe swipe. In the card. Yeah, the office blokes swipe. The old chip and pin. Mm, yeah. Uh, I think if it was your missus, then this topic would have come up over time. If not, and if it's just random girls, they might not want you down there. That's why they're a bit grim down there. <clears throat> no, it's not, I'm not having that. It's it, the moment it leads to that moment, doesn't it? It depends. I don't know. You know what I mean? If he's in the moment and he's thinking, right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna you know, flip her yeah, over gonna, and have a go on the balloon. The tongue, or, <laughs> play the trombone. Yeah, I'm gonna play the trombone. <laughs> yeah, it's better if he's rusty or not. And, uh, and then. Oh, like you say, you just got to go. Swan pass, swan pass alert. <laughs> but you're going to embarrass them, but then it's, hey, fucking no more embarrassing than you fucking hanging out the back of her at the same time. Well, precisely, <laughs> I mean, like, do, you're taking, you know I mean? he's taking a pretty bold... Fucking turtle's head stuck up your nostril. <laughs> <laughs> he's taking a pretty bold step as it is, so mm. I think you've got to get over the embarrassment and just, you know, communication is key in these things, isn't it? <laughs> it definitely is, so... You can either, like, you know, when she takes her pants off, just go, <laughs> really subtly. <laughs> One of them, when she pulls her pants back up, turns around, looks at him and goes, have you been eating chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when they're just about to get down to it, he goes, just give me a minute, I'm just going to go and freshen up. And then just, like, leave, leave the bathroom door open yeah. and just, like, flannel his ass off. Oh, fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> Maybe she'll say the hint. <laughs> throw, the, throw her the flannel. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and then maybe, yeah, maybe she'll go. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah. Subtle hint there. Fucking bar of uh, a bar of cousins. <laughs> oh god. What's the other one, Mike? The other soap, the old soap, the uh, red label. Imperial oh, leather. leather. Imperial oh, yeah. leather. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, what are these girls like if it's grim down there? Though, because yeah. every where are you shopping, mate? Where are you yeah. shopping? Girl, you know, guys are tramps, but girls are generally not. You know, they're quite clean. You know. Question to you, Tony, is... <laughs> Tony Brown, Tom. <laughs> is the crack involved for payment, right? Oh. <laughs> just asking. Yeah, just say, I've cleaned... Just trying to find out. Have you cleaned the crack first? <laughs> and then what the other side you could do, another manoeuvre, which is quite common amongst the office blocks. Flossing. <laughs> <laughs> towel in front, a little bit of dampness on the towel. So like, give it that with between the legs. Yeah, make a game yeah, out of make it. Make a game, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bit of foreplay. Oh, you've just given me a great idea there. Really? Right? Yeah, yeah. What he can do, and he can mask it as a prank video, is pull the back of the pants out, hand sanitizer down the back. Hose pipe. And, uh, no, hand sanitizer down the back, and then just a big wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> wedgie. Right, should we get down to it? <laughs> I don't know, I think that's what you got to do, I think. <laughs> Just oh. on the side of the, on the side of the, <laughs> depends on what he's doing. He might, be, he might be munching in the car. He might be in the, you know. In the, oh, don't work in a car. Might, might be in the woods somewhere. They're all dogging True. with a mask on. Uh, uh, you know, know like what? Being, that's what he might be like. He's doing a bit of dogging and dressed up as a dog. He might start having the, the urge to sort of like sniff around the arsehole and, yeah. you know what I mean? If you're going dogging, you deserve what you get. So you can't be in the forest and say, excuse me, will you just freshen up a little bit? Well, that's what you got to do. you got to have the manoeuvre. you got to have the wipes at the ready hmm. and just sort of like, Quick, <laughs> <laughs> quick swipe! <sighs> that's I'm gonna it, get. Our, I'm gonna get our own brand. It's the it. office bloke swiping. Yeah, the, the office bloke swipes, and that's what you could take. Don't I? Yeah, can be a dance as well. You can have an advert and everything. You know what I mean? Like, do you have problem with swamp past? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like how he said a bit swampy down there. Um, yeah, well, that, I guess that's what we think. Mm. That's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'd be delighted with that answer. I think the uh, hand sanitizer and the wedgie thing is by far the best. The towel. Yeah. The towel floss. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the first ever the office good thing with the, the good thing with the towel floss as well, gives them a bit of friction around the front. So it does classify as foreplay. Oh, right. I was wondering where you were going with yeah. that, trying to start a fire or something, but foreplay, no, foreplay right? Yeah, okay. a bit of foreplay with a, with a towel. It's almost like yeah, a, yeah. a vibration yeah. kind of rub. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Fair enough. I'm not sure you know how this sort of stuff works. The more you talk start, about it. Well, you can start spanking her. <laughs> and every third spank. <laughs> off his smoke, swiping your hand and just all like go. Pew. <laughs> it's all about the manoeuvre. The spank and swoop. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, then you have to look at it though just to make sure there's no residue well how do you know when to residue. how do you know when to not do it anymore depends, well, depends how it... deep you go as well so you have to go pro you have to kind of, <laughs> you'd have to kind of like get the tip of the thing <laughs> right we're, we're ending on that okay now um <laughs> you move on <laughs> the tip of the uh, finger <laughs> i hope you enjoyed <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our public service um, office put as confidential on new segment. If you want more of it, let us know. If you think any of these were good ideas, let us know. I can't see. Let us know how you broach these problems in the comment section. Um, yeah, anything side, guys? Yeah, if anyone's got any trademark uh, contacts for the office bloke swipe and <laughs> swipe and scoop, swipe and scoop. <laughs> Swipe and clean. <laughs> oh, God. If anyone's still listening at this point, good on you. Um, we will be back. I think we're going to make this weekly. Yeah, yeah we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> we'll yeah, another we'll, episode. We will be back. Um, and so, I'm probably going to clip this as well. So there's probably going to be individual clips of each bit of advice as well as the whole yeah. episode. Mm. Let's milk it for everything it's got. <laughs> cheers, guys. Cheers, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya. That was a clip from Office Boats Confidential. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, head over to Office Boats Podcast on YouTube. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, look out for it on Spotify, Apple Podcast, all that sort of stuff. It's going to be over there very soon. And yeah, cheers guys. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>